Hi, Paul from Wild River Custom Knives, and uh, I want to shoot a little short video uh, basically to show you how I mounted the uh, uh, eye gauging Easy View DROs to my uh, little machine shop mini mill. I basically use this mini mill for accurate drilling, and um, I do a lot of guard slotting, um, but I use it primarily in knife making and making small parts. Um, so I purchased the, uh, the, uh, eye gauging, uh, DROs and I bought two 12 inches and a, and a 24 incher. And, um, I was kind of disappointed in the mounting brackets. I'll show you the mounting brackets. Um, there were the, the mounting bracket that goes on the slider on the bar on the slider is like 13 sixteenths of an inch um, in standoff and then the um, the standoffs for the bars the mounting brackets for the bars are like a sixteenth of an inch or an eight or well no bigger than that they're uh, oh Just uh, shy of a half an inch. So I guess we'll start with the easiest one, which was the uh, the Z axis. And pardon the sunshine is glaring through my my uh, window here, but you can see I mounted it uh, straight up and down. Pretty simple. This is the simplest one. I did have to make a bracket here for the to attach the slider to in. Um, I just used the original spot where uh, um, a ruler was, uh, the pointer for the ruler was mounted here. Anyway, so I made this bracket out of sheet metal and attached it to, to the slider, tapped a 832 uh, for a machine screw here and down here and that was pretty straightforward, worked excellent. Now down here, I did use the original mounting bracket. We'll see if you can see in there. It's right here. And I had to cut it, cut a spot out over here on this side for all this to clear. So I mounted it there, and I've seen a lot of guys that go ahead and mount it to this surface of their mill, but that surface of the mill isn't vertical. Uh, it's not square it's sloped and I didn't want to deal with the issues of trying to keep this thing this bar on an even plane at 90 degrees here so what I did because this is mounted to this this mill is mounted to this bench and I have no intentions of removing it I just mounted a couple of L brackets front and rear and they're butted up against the legs for the mill base screwed down so i used the original bracket here and the original brackets here and just mounted those after i mounted this then i knew exactly how far off you know i did, it took no math figure in there and just set the l brackets down screwed them to that and screwed them to the table and that worked excellent now uh that's the y the uh x the x axis was pretty simple um i got a piece of uh 16th inch or maybe it's 8th inch I can't remember uh, aluminum I think it's an inch and a half yep inch and a half and drilled and tapped on each side um, 8 30 seconds uh, screws got this all lined up basically set a quarter on top of this on top of that slider and before this was mounted slid it down all the way to this end and got it tight there did the same thing here used a quarter as a spacer so that everything was lined up we'll see if you can see the bracket let me get this light down here maybe that'll help made a bracket and 
bent it properly to mount onto this. And what it does is it mirror images this little bar that goes on this uh, rubber. So it's like uh, the width, just under the width of the slider. And then it comes down and then flares out and is mounted on the back side here. So it was pretty simple. That was simple. Um, I do plan on putting, uh, getting a piece of uh, vinyl to lay over this to provide more chip protection. But um, this one here, uh, I think this is the, the best option, at least for me. I didn't want I didn't want to deal with this angle, um, and then trying to get a bracket perfect. So everything stayed square on these sliders. I didn't want them to bind. So this worked out perfect. So if you're going to uh, use these DROs, just be aware that the the mounting bracket leaves a little bit to for the for the sliders leaves a little bit to be desired. This is really nice. This all all screws together, and it does have magnets on the back. But um, uh, I ran it the other day after I put it together, and uh, it runs pretty true. Um, I'm real happy with with the system and uh, It'll really help me out because previous to that I had to do everything by hand and then step back and Take a set of calipers and measure and just keep going that way So anyway, thanks for checking it out. I hope this helps somebody uh, Adios from Alaska. God bless and take care